Good to see y'all get ready to uh, come on over. If you want to work your way over to the tent, that would be great. See you in a minute. Come on and work your way over here, and uh, we'll get things started. We sure appreciate seeing you here, and uh, beautiful day, and uh, we couldn't ask for better. Come on over.
for you to sit wherever you would like. The uh, dignitaries have been invited to the front row, please. And uh, everywhere else, wherever you would like. Plenty of seats if you'd like to sit down. Come on in, get out of the sun. There's lots of seats. Uh, you're welcome to sit in the chairs. Thank you, everyone, for being here. We sure appreciate you uh, joining us with Anthem. Uh, first up, uh, Jacob, it's all yours. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming. What an exciting moment that we are here at, uh, at this, <laughs> this point in time. <laughs> wow. It, um, I'll apologize up front if I start crying. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just... Uh, this has been a, a, uh, quite an effort on a, a tremendous amount of people. So let me get into this here. Thank you all for coming today and to support the launch of Elko Digital Transformation Project. Today is a day that has had the dreaming, the planning, and effort of so many people for years. People who wanted to ensure that Elko and its surrounding communities have access to the technology necessary to expand, access to opportunity and connecting with all the things that matter most to us, especially in these times of COVID. To be able to do the things that the rest of the world is able to do. It's about access to educational opportunities, to entertainment opportunities, telehealth, recreation, and connecting with friends and family all over the world. At Anthem Broadband, we focus on connecting rural communities. Our organization started in Idaho over 24 years ago, and our goal is to bring to, to the community safe and reliable and fast internet to all the areas that are oftentimes forgotten by bigger corporations. We serve dozens of communities in Idaho, Oregon, and Montana, and we're very excited to build out the best fiber internet to Elko and its surrounding communities. But it's more than that. We look forward to being a part of this community. We'll have local employees here, local presence. In fact, our Anthem Broadband in Nevada is a local LLC here. We're looking forward to uh, bringing jobs and support, and things that matter the most. I just want to take a moment here and recognize some of the people that have been so instrumental in putting this together in our ability and being able to launch this digital transformation project. First and foremost, I want to thank Greg Walker and his team at Nevada Gold Mines. His vision and commitment to this project has ensured that it got beyond the concept. He's been an advocate and a friend. Thank you.
From the Anthem Broadband team, we have Jason Herr, who has made countless trips down to this area to connect with all the local leaders and the communities and discovering the need and nurturing relationships to move this project forward. We have Nicholas Owens, who has been key in communication and messaging on how Anthem Broadband can be a solution to these communities. Kevin Neal has spent countless hours mapping every home and business in this community to ensure that we have the right data to develop our plan. Paul Helton has been developing our sales team so that we're prepared to connect every resident as we pass their home or business. Chad Shanks is our structured cabling specialist and specializes in uh, internal build business networking and has, has proven invaluable on this. David Child is our Anthem Security General Manager and he'll be providing services for home automation, security, and, and cameras to all those that want it. Uh, also, General Manager Nicholas Ladwig, who has and will continue to oversee this project. Uh, Luke Leonard, he is our plant manager here. He'll, he's also, some say a local celebrity, but uh, he's a fantastic uh, addition to our team and we're very excited to have him on board with us. Brian Woodland, our CFO, who has spent countless hours of financial analyst on this to make sure that we're able to do everything that we say we're going to do with raging success. And finally, I'd like to thank my partner, Mike Ricks, who is my business partner and continually inspires. Me to be a better person. Thank you with, with his heart and his leadership. I'd like to thank all the communities. This is the first time I've ever done this. Sorry, a little nervous. Um, we'd like to recognize the community leaders, such as Mayor Keener and the uh, Elko City Council. We'd like to recognize Jesse Barr and the Spring Creek uh, HOA and the county commissioners with their support in the permits and the logistics needed to build out this uh, fiber network. And of course, all the local residents that have advocated and uh, supported this project. Now, what is the project? For everyone involved in this that have been committed, we've been assuring a few things, the hallmarks of this great technology. One, the equipment's got to be able to deliver the speeds of today and the future that we need. We can uh, deliver one gig, two, five, 40, 10, 100 gig to anybody in our network. Those that need it, we can get it there too. A network that can easily scale and grow as demand requires. When we see a part of our network that starts reaching a 50% to 60% utilization, we upgrade it. What that does is that ensures that no users of this network will ever experience network uh, bottlenecks and uh, limitations due to a congested network. Buffering of video streams will be a thing of the past. In fact, we have such a great relationship with Netflix that we have Netflix caching servers in our data centers in Salt Lake. We offer speeds twice as fast for the same money as other competitors and providers. We have no, front, no upfront hookup or construction costs. Let me repeat that. No upfront hookup costs or construction costs. Sign up and you just have your monthly investment, your monthly bill, and that's it. We're, we've designed and are building a more robust network design with more redundancies than what is, is available. It's a self-healing network, and it's one that you won't be able to get from the competitors' networks. And the most important thing, everyone will get access. We're not picking winners and losers. We're not leaving the more rural parts behind. Everybody is getting access to this. That is one of the core values of our organization. We don't want anyone left behind on this digital transformation project. And uh, one of our... One of the additional benefits and features that Anthem Broadband is bringing to this community is this amazing relationship and partnership that we have with Microsoft. And I'd like to give just a couple of minutes to Rishna with Microsoft, if you please come up. And she's going to explain it a lot better than I would.
Thank you so much for having me. I'm so thrilled to be here. Thanks, Elko, for inviting Microsoft. We're so pleased to partner with Anthem Broadband to make um, broadband access a reality for Elko. We focus on fostering economic development in rural communities like Elko um, through digital inclusion programs in healthcare, in business, in education. We're especially eager to promote upskilling programs to enhance employability for rural Elko residents. Um, this includes free digital skills training programs. Our white glove service program will be offered to all customers of Anthem Broadband. This includes all school and business customers, all students, parents, teachers, staff, all employees of businesses served by Anthem Broadband. So we're so thrilled to be able to offer this kind of training to this community and to assist in any way we can to promote skills enhancement, any skills training programs to promote employability. We also believe in promoting affordability and accessibility. We will be working with Anthem Broadband to address affordable programs for low-income customers. This includes working with Anthem to promote the Emergency Broadband Benefit Program to um, help customers with affordable devices and affordable internet subscriptions, subsidized internet subscriptions. This also includes working with Anthem on uh, promoting the Lifeline Program for the community. We will also provide a free technical hotline so Anthem customers can call about any question like how do I turn on my laptop to how do I deal with this operating system issue. So we're very eager to bring these services to the community and we want to partner with you to help grow with you in terms of skills training. We're here, um, we're eager to be a long-term partner, so call on us for any of your skills training needs. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you, Vishnu. Okay, so with, with that, that concludes my remarks, and I'm going to turn the time over to Mayor Reese Keener. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. This is a really exciting day. I, I share uh, Jacob's excitement as well with, with his team. Everybody's been working on this for a long, long time. And it was uh, back in 2017 uh, when uh, the governor's office of science, innovation, and technology, what was called OSIT, uh, reached out to city officials, uh, just checking in on our internet and broadband needs here in the Elko area. Uh, what they found was a critically underserved market was that was eager for new options, and the need here was so great that after doing their surveys statewide. Uh, OSIT prioritized Elko and White Pine counties uh, to receive um, critical need status, and that uh, set us up to, to get a disproportionate amount of service from uh, the um, OSIT office to help facilitate uh, more options to, to fix the problem. And a local broadband survey was conducted by OSIT in 2018 and it revealed a profound level of dissatisfaction with internet options across the board for all customers here in the area. These results were then validated by a report that ranked Elko in the 10 worst cities for uh, internet speed nationally. And we already knew we had that problem and uh, it really drove it home. So tomorrow marks the four-year anniversary since the first uh, meeting that was held with OSIT here in Elko. And following that first meeting, the Elko Broadband Action Committee uh, was formed, and uh, we went on a regular cadence of meetings with potential providers over the course of the next 18 months. We interviewed about 10 different providers. And we kept running into the same problem, and that is that Elko was too small to, uh, to attract the attention of a nationwide provider that had access uh, to the $45 million or so in capital that it would take to do a fiber build out here in this area. And so what was left was some small providers that were very eager, but they did not have the capital or access to it uh, to, uh, 
to self-fund the build-out. And so shortly before the formation of Nevada Gold Mines Joint Venture in 2019, Anthem made a pitch to the broadband committee. And there was something that really resonated uh, with Anthem, uh, their enthusiasm, uh, their customer orientation, and, and really their commitment uh, to delivering uh, high quality broadband service. Rebecca Darling, a then uh, Barrick uh, executive, was on the committee. And uh, after hearing from Anthem, she came up with the idea of having Barrick self-fund this. And, and it just kind of went from there. And I'm very grateful to both Barrick and Nevada Gold Mines for bestowing this gift on the Elko community. Simply put, this di digital transformation wouldn't be happening without this key support. And I'd like to thank a few people that played a, a crucial role in this groundbreaking. Mark Bristow, Barrick CEO, for supporting the project from its inception. Greg Walker, Executive Director of Nevada Gold Mines and his executive team for guiding the project to execution. Jacob Larson of Anthem for tenaciously sticking with this project even when it appeared to be dead several times. And the, the dedicated E-Rate team of Joe Ferdoso, Eric Flock, and Melinda Van Patten. And then a special shout out to uh, Elko Broadband Action Committee co-chair, uh, David Kirkham, uh, for all the hours that you put in as well. This is a very exciting day, not only for the city of Elko, but for the greater Elko, Spring Creek, and Lamoille communities. We're on the cusp of having the best broadband service available anywhere in the United States. Anthem's active Ethernet product will deliver speeds of up to a stunning 40 gigs. So if anyone out there ever wanted to run a, a data center out of your house, <laughs> you'll now be able to do that. This digital transformation project will rescue Elko from the bottom of the barrel and put us on the top shelf. Again, uh, thank you Nevada Gold Mines. Uh, for making this possible for our great city. It's just a, a remarkable endowment uh, for the entire Elko region. And uh, to Brian Mitchell from OSIT, uh, congratulations to your team. Uh, your predecessors uh, laid all the groundwork, and now you'll be able to see everything through to completion, and we're really excited about that. So while it might be smoky out today, uh, the future is very bright for Elko indeed. Thank you. Thank you very much, I sure appreciate that. Uh, next up, we'll have uh, Brian Mitchell from OSIT. Say a few words for us, thank you. Good morning, everyone. This is, this is truly an exciting day for us at OSIT, and it's even more exciting for you uh, since we're finally here. This has been a lot of hard work. As, um, as Mayor Keener mentioned, it was four years ago, I remember, uh, when um, you know we made the decision to you know take a look statewide and see you know where were the areas that needed the broadband the most and Elko was always right on the top of our list and I I always felt like this was kind that Elko was a um, almost a sleeping giant in that you know there was so much demand and so much opportunity here and we just needed to figure out a way to unlock that and so I. Um, like others before me, I, I don't think we can say this enough, but I, uh, this project wouldn't have been possible without all the support from Nevada Gold. And, uh, and it was uh, Nevada Gold that really truly um, um, made this project possible. So I want to thank both Greg Walker and Alyssa Wood for all of their tireless work in, in, this, in making this project uh, possible. The state recently uh, published a, uh, a statewide connectivity strategy, and in that strategy were five goals. Uh, the first goal uh, is universal access to broadband service at or above the uh, FCC's recommended standard, no matter where uh, uh, that's, uh, that standard uh, goes in the future. And so having a service uh, here in, in Elko that it not only meets the standard today, but is scalable 
and future proof was an important part of what we wanted uh, to happen for this community. Uh, the second goal is that every student uh, is connected at school and at home to a service that supports digital learning and that, ha and that has access to a connected device. Um, and after uh, this project is completed, uh, the students of Elko will have access to the kind of learning opportunities that students in the biggest urban areas across the world will be able to have. And, and that's really special for your kids. Uh, the third goal uh, is uh, universal access to telemedicine services, both at home and through their local healthcare providers. And there's nothing worse than being sick and having to travel hours on end to find uh, access to a specialist. And so um, through telemedicine and broadband makes that, that opportunity to have specialty care right here in Elko County. Uh, the fourth is uh, having, uh, making uh, our broadband infrastructure throughout the state an economic development advantage uh, for our communities. And as uh, the pandemic has shown us, uh, we need broadband in order to, to live and to work. And there are many folks who are realizing that they don't have to live in overpriced houses in San Francisco in order to have a great job. And there's a lot of places like Elko that offer an, an amazing quality of life. Um, and so, uh, but uh, having a broadband connection uh, that is fast and reliable is, is a prerequisite uh, for doing work at home and play at home. Uh, fourth, or sorry, the, uh, the fifth and final uh, goal is, um, is around digital equity and ensuring that nobody is left behind in the, in our, in the digital divide. And specifically, uh, being able to train all internet users to make the most of uh, their time online and to do that safely. So I, I also want to thank the, the members of the broadband action team here in Elko that have uh, put in tireless hours and and we've had numerous meetings with them uh, to try to move uh, to get to this point and move this project forward. So I particularly want to thank Mayor Keener and also Dave Kirkham for all of their hard work. Uh, also want to thank the uh, the rest of the city council and the county commissioners here in Elko for their leadership and it's truly their leadership that has made Elko uh, really transformed Elko from being a town that, that had only a single service provider that wasn't providing the kind of internet that everybody wanted into being a, a very hot market, uh, you know, where now we have people as a lot of service providers very interested in serving this area, which is great for consumers. Finally, want to thank the folks at Anthem. Uh, you know, there was a time when there weren't very many uh, broadband companies that were interested in serving Elko and they came and took a chance on this community. and. And you know, and it's and it's we need you know the partnership of of internet service providers as well as major employers like Nevada Gold, and then community leadership and and local government to really make these projects happen. So when we go and talk to communities around the state at OSIT, we are now able to hold Elco up as a shining example of what other communities can do when they organize and when they uh, put a priority on broadband. So truly. Big congratulations to all of you, and uh, you know, here's to more streaming of Netflix. <laughs> Thank you very much, Brian. We sure appreciate it. Hey, next up, uh, we, we're very, very grateful for Nev Nevada Gold Mines and uh, Greg Walker. We'll turn it on to you. Thanks. I don't think I've got much to say after the last three speakers, so, uh, which is good because I don't like speaking much. Um, uh, a couple of things, we started Nevada Gold Mines a bit over two years ago and one of the key things when we sat down as a team is looked at what should we be about, what should we be about from a community perspective. There was a lot of concern and I think Reese talked about it the other day when we were at a, uh, another function when we were opening the Boys and Girls Club about the concern of the community is what would happen once New Monton Barrack collapsed into Nevada gold mines. And I think we sat down and said there's some key things that we're interested in. One was education, one was community facilities, uh, another one was healthcare, and, uh, and one other key one which we were addressing the other day was uh, childcare and the ability for people to have first world infrastructure. So we work on those, we've been successful in a couple of areas. We have been successful in working with Boys and Girls Club for the, for the uh, uh, childcare. Uh, we then looked, 
how do we address the infrastructure? And one of the key things, people talk about uh, internet and broadband as being a luxury. One of the key things is it's not a luxury, it's an essential part of your life into, into the now and into the future. So we looked around for partners, and as we've talked about, uh, Brian mentioned, and uh, also Reese uh, mentioned, you know, the project was underway, but it was stalling because we didn't have capital. And uh, Nevada Gold Mines came up and said, we can put forward the capital and be able to facilitate the project and to get it on the, on the way. So that was the work was, was happening. Uh, Reese mentioned that Jacob brought the project back when it was stuck, struggled a few times and it was his determination. I can tell you that it was at least three times where I said the project was dead and we were pulling out. And it was only Alyssa that uh, stepped up and made me, bullied me back into getting the project back on track. So it's been a number of people have done some really good work and I think Jacob and his team and Alyssa and the CSR team did a lot of good work to get it back on track. But in Nevada Gold Mines, we also had a lot of support from all sorts of people. Our IT department under Todd had a lot to do with validating the ability of Anthem to be able to execute the project. Uh, we had support from, our, from Hillary, from our legal team, to make sure that we've got in place an agreement with Anthem that ensures from an NGM perspective that one, the project's executed on time and on budget, two, to a standard that's acceptable to, uh, to first world uh, services. So this is just not Anthem going out and doing a job. They're being, working in partnership, I can say being managed as well. We're working together and we're making sure that this project execute, delivers what we said it was going to deliver. And some of the deliveries were that every single person in Elko, Spring Creek and Lamoille has access to the uh, broadband. And that's not a small commitment because some of those facilities, some of those uh, Residents are isolated and would never get the opportunity because the cost is prohibitive. By working with Anthem, we agreed that everybody, as we said before, no one would be left behind. And that's a key thing for us, not just, as Reese mentioned, for the community, but for NGM is that everybody has an opportunity. And then meeting with Brian and his team through OSIT, they also have the same vision that everybody has an opportunity and also to make it affordable, which is what uh, Jacob was talking about, of having no sign-on fees and no uh, connection fees. And that's important to us because it's very easy for the privileged few to get the services, but we want to make sure everyone in this area gets a service. And then the next step would be working with uh, Anthem or any other service provider who's prepared to step up and make sure that the other areas that we work with along the I-80 corridor have also got these services. So we've already started talking about Battle Mountain, Winnemucca, out the wells, you know, how do we get those services out to them? Because we don't want to be the, in the bottom 10 people for internet in the world, in, the, in America. We want to be in the top 10, so that's what we'd be focused on. So thanks very much. Everybody, I've missed a whole bunch of people that were involved. Everybody that was involved in uh, the project and getting it to where it is today, thanks very much. Now the ball is fairly in Jacob's court and into my project management team's court to make sure we execute the project and then uh, make this project successful. Because as Brian said, it's a model for him to use within Nevada, but it's also a model that we can use within NGM and within other community-based uh, service providers. We can use the same model to supply better services to everybody. So thanks very much. Thanks for all the support from everybody. and. Uh, I look forward to being a success. Thank you. All right, thank you for all the comments and everything. Nicholas, now's the exciting time, right? We got some ground to break. Is that right? Okay, you got the list of everybody? <laughs> Mayor, um, yeah, pretty much the front row here. Kind of lost track of everybody that's here. <laughs> yes, everybody's important, which makes it hard. Uh, Jesse, you're here. Yes. Delmo. Yeah. 
Let's hear you go. There's one left, but <laughs> Rex. <laughs> All right, very good. Grab a shovel, guys. Gals? <laughs> we'll give you a little count. We'll do it all together. Go ahead and grab a shovel, each, everyone. Go ahead and grab a shovel. Should have five here. Yep. Yep, just grab one close to you there. All right, so there you go. All right, on three. Let's grab a scoop. One, two, three. All right, give me a hand, everybody. I want to thank you all very much. Thank you for being here and supporting uh, the new transformation project with Anthem Broadband. Um, over on the far side, we've got Hot Dogs and Las Brisas over here as well. And then the dignitaries who have been invited, you know who you are, that follow into this tent as soon as we're done.